Hello, this is Olga Yevtich. I'm a fashion designer in Miss Virginia Senior America 2003. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Now, finally, it's summer. And I still still complain it's just too hot. It is, but tick on the bright side. Pretty clothes, colorful accessories, picnicking, bra and barbecuing, if you forget mosquitoes. Make sure to, for, to have protection and wear beautiful, colorful, wide brim hat, my signature. And hot trends, as I was telling you before, color, color, and more color. There are many choices to choose from, colored neutrals or floral prints, pastels with red shoes, T-strapped, sandals or sling bags. White is so refreshing and calming way for daytime skirts and pants and also beautiful evening gowns in chiffon and silk with lots and lots of ruffles. And denim, all the American fabric is back in every incarnation. Jean skirts, jackets, even dressier clothes. Bring belt back your belt. Belts this season sits high on the waist. It is a ladylike look to flatter your figure and to give shape to this season shirt dresses. Necklaces, the latest neck ornaments are gold chains with alphabet pendants. Why not spell your name? You will see beautiful jewelry on my guest later on. Accessories. Fresh flowers from the florist, worn as the item of luxury, and are elegant and effortless way to use accessories. How about spring of violets on the tweed jacket like Ralph Lauren? Or you can invest in the brooch, like bugs, stars, animals, but no vegetable, please. This season give your velvet jacket a break, wear a cardigan, over your dress instead, instead in thin cotton or even cashmere. Even gym clothes have gone lax. Some of the truck pants are so sexy to be worn for exercise. Slip them on with sil silk tea for a night on the town. Of course, this is for the very young, in my opinion. Speaking of young, my other guest will talk of new trends for teens. Ah, tropical heat, hot swimming suits, geometric prints, dots, and always bright colors with a color-coordinated sarong. And you, would you believe it, flip-flops in bright hues with heels, handbags in bloom, inspired by spring and summer blossoms, Flirty way to dress up any outfit. What is the look for the hair? Ponytail and buns are so casual and chic. And the look and their, their look for the moment. Long and wavy, unfussy, natural look. Lipstick, nude, with a touch of shine, flutters everyone. Pretty cheeks and lush lashes. Smoky eyes, glimmering shadows of purple and royal blue, pink or peach blush. There are new and exciting things happening for fall on the runway right now. However, I will talk about it on one of future shows. Let's enjoy the lazy days of summer and please not rush to fall. Now, I have a special treat for you. I have two beautiful and ta talented lady with me today. They are so talented, you'll be so surprised with their talent and beauty. Uh, left on me in Miss Sylvia Gottfeld, and she is going to show you jewelry. And uh, what is interesting, she's the architect, turned out to be a jewelry designer. This is really interesting. She will have a, lots of story to tell you and also to show you some of her pieces. And then next to her is also a friend of mine for a long time, is Barbara McConaughey, 
who is uh, the first lady of fashion in Washington. She knows inside out everything was going on everywhere. She was working in Washington in the fashion business for a long, long time. Not that she's old, but she was just working long, <laughs> a, a long time in fashion business. And also she was working in Miami. That say Miami is a fashion capital of the world. I don't know about that, but it um, looks like it is. Anyway, these two um, talented and beautiful ladies will show you their talent. So you sit, relax, and enjoy the show. Sylvia, good to see, see you. Good to see you. This is very interesting. This lady turned out to some totally different profession from being an architect building a uh, Mr. Reagan building in Washington, D.C., suddenly turned out to make the, such a beautiful jewelry. And so interesting, I think, no, the mother of pearl, she traveled exclu exclu exclusively in Orient and buying all these beautiful um, mother of pearl and making, as you can see on the table, and also you're going to see on the model some of the jewelry that she make. And do, look at this beautiful mother of pearl jewelry. And she made necklaces, belts, uh, earrings, uh, um, pins, and they are so innovating and different, like I think nobody else is doing, like she's doing. So how did you in the world, you know, um, try you know, to do something start. else that you didn't do in all your life. You did all the life you know, designing buildings and if suddenly you want to make jewelry. What make you do all this pr pretty stuff? Well, it just happened that I was in India working on a cultural heritage project, which was very interesting in Cochin, India. And I noticed there it is also a sort of a, an an set, a center for antiquities. And I noticed there's some fabulous objects made of pink mother of pearl. Uh -huh. And I really fell in love with it. But of course, I was an architect very busy, and I had no time to do anything like that. So I uh, said, well, once I retire, I'm going to try to do something with this beautiful material. Well, it happened that next year, three of my projects were canceled, and all of a sudden you I was retired <laughs> before my time. <laughs> and I, uh, uh -huh. I sort of said, well, this is a chance to start. And because I was living in Paris, I um, showed my first collection in the Louvre, and they loved it, and they were my first customer in Musée des Arts Décoratifs. And in the first two years, I had quite a few exhibitions in galleries, museums, etc. And basically, that got me started. And uh, initially, I had no idea if anyone would like this sort of out of the ordinary pieces of they jewelry. They are extraordinary. That's but right. then I realized mm -hmm. that actually my you know training as an architect, as a designer, was really sure helpful. Quite and helpful. And I because I never learned how to make it. In the process, I was just discovering how to put things together, etc., and that was really quite challenging, because you know, as an architect, you're always trying to resolve some complicated function in the most beautiful and simple way. Well, luckily, the function was not very complicated here. It was not like designing a building where you have all I, sorts of problems. As you can problems. see, you have to cut I all could, these I could pieces. I show, like for example, this is um, made from black mother of pearl and rubber. Oh. This one, and, and uh, this is jade and pearls, and in fact, this is also black Tahitian pearl. This one is interesting. This is actually a shell, a genuine shell. Uh -huh. And I have it silvered, silvered in it. Rome. I see. And then I put it on this rubber, and I designed the clasp. Is this like a permanent silver there? It is this not is going permanent. to tar tar permanent. tarnish? It well, it may tarnish, but it, but it, it adds to the richness. To it's not bad. I see. It's and uh, you know, so each, mm. in fact, I have eight different collections, and each collection is a different shell, which has its different kind of structural, you know, idiosyncra idiosyncrasy, uh -huh. you can say, or it has its its own rules. So each each one is treated differently. The two which are the most similar are white mother of pearl and black mother of pearl because they're big oyster shells. Oysters, and one yeah. can do big Is pieces. it difficult to s cut them? Well, I don't cut them. I have, oh. I, I find the shells, I pick the shells, I design it, and then I have someone in Bangkok 
who cut cuts I white see. mother of pearl and in north of paris black mother of pearl and for example this piece that you have here it's a uh, belt and also this could one. be worn as a necklace yeah. this is absolutely versatile oh, yes. an interesting piece this that you one can is a uh, uh, abalone it's a flower since you mentioned that the flowers are in i didn't know but uh -huh. i'm happy i have a flower uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, it has a um, chain mail mesh, mesh. And what, uh, what uh, is the? Uh, it's uh, it's stainless steel. Stainless steel. Oh. And it can it can be worn as a belt or, or necklaces. As a this necklace. is wonderful. The model can you can update try. it. Update yes. really any Like for outfit. example, this one. This is really a belt, but I wear it as a necklace. But it could be also a belt. So, so this is very interesting. Each one has some other peculiarity. Uh huh. This piece is like a, this is a shell. Also, now this, this one. This is the actual shell. It's called Turbo Marmoratus, and so it's a the shell was like that. You know, when you well, when you the shell was much bigger. I just oh, cut the top started, I see. and uh -huh. see it has the backing sort of back, the, uh -huh. and then um, this, in fact, is the shell that attracted me initially. I said, you know, the iridescence is so fabulous. One could just do. Mm -hmm. Many interesting things because it has this pink and turquoise and all sorts it's of gorgeous. colors in it. And the bracelet you are wearing? No, the a bracelet is a white mother of pearl. It's from a white oyster shell. Uh -huh. And um, it's a different system. It's actually mosaic, which is put together in this. So it's a put together with small deco. pieces. Small pieces. pieces. This is put with small pieces, yes. I see. This is really interesting. And this piece that you have here that could be used perhaps on the on the this? necklaces or belt or whatever. Well, this, this is, is a brooch. Or the brooch. And uh -huh. this is a very special part of the shell which has this pearl in the making. So I, when I see something so beautiful, I cut it out in a, whichever form seems to make sense at the time. And then I have it set in silver. This is um, this silver is actually um, oxidized, so uh -huh. it's black to more, you know, to complement this black uh -huh. piece. Uh, I see. And then you want me to show sure, this? Sure, this is a very yeah. pretty piece. So this is like a two pieces. Of this of, is uh, a black mother of pearl. pearl. The shell is a byproduct of pearl black pearl industry. This one mm -hmm. because it's small. And this is a white mother of pearl. Actually, this piece was featured in Vogue. Oh, that's in, beautiful. Um, September 2002, I think. It's very nice. We also have a model, and, you know, uh, she's going to show us some of the pieces. So the Sylvia is going to um, explain to you, you know, what pieces sh she's going to wear. Uh, they're very interesting. And I like that you can wear a belt and also be yeah. a necklace at it's the same flexible. time. It's very yeah. flexible. Very and, flexible. you know, it can dress really any outfit. You can yeah. you know, just have a, just a plain black dress like mo our model today. Well, we are just She's showing it on a very plain dress. dress and so you, you know, can really see. It can be down or it can be up. If you lift it, it can be also up more in the waist. And also you can wear it as a necklace too. You can wear it as a necklace, yes. It's very pretty. And how did you find and, out? And that actually, the belt is rubber, which is very convenient because it it gives. And how did you give the rubber? You know, f found the rubber to to. No, the being an architect, I know a lot of materials, materials including uh -huh. rubber. In fact, chainmail I used well when I worked in Montreal on a theater. We used it as curtains. Uh huh. So one day I remembered, oh, the chainmail was so beautiful. I would love to do something with it, and then you know. Okay, the next piece that she's going to show us is uh, also mother of pearl, is the, it? No, these are just pearls, but they're done in a sort of uh, kind of French deco way in a little bit. It's a uh, look of and the... And this can also be worn as a belt? And it can also be worn, worn as, a as a belt. So a lot of these long pieces can be either belt or, uh, you know, and they're nice and nicely enough you can really pack for traveling easy. They're not, you know, difficult probably to well, travel. They're are they very fragile they're or very not? Well, they are fragile, oh. but they're very light. So uh -huh. because they're light, you know, you can have a big piece and it's not overwhelming to wear because it's light. And, it uh -huh. and okay. because of uh -huh. this iridescence, oh, you, this can is also a beautiful piece you can too. also turn it around uh, once more. 
Because of the iridescence, you yes, know. Yes, you can wear in different ways. Uh -huh. It is very rich, but it's not like gold or silver. You know, it's not overwhelming as a big piece. It is still quite feminine looking. It is very nice. Can you give us an idea of what everything? But you know, nature, it is absolutely the ultimate in terms of design. You, it's very hard to do better. So I feel that these natural objects, they really have such a profound oh, sure, beauty. Sure, nature probably is the yeah. best sculptor. It's the best. <laughs> and that's I hate beautiful. to admit, but it's the best. Yes. <laughs> it is the Do best. you want to show him any more of the jewelry? Um, maybe we can is show she, the yeah. model one more if, okay. if there is she enough time. She would like time. to show us some more things that, you know, she, because she does so many different things and it's you can it, just, just one piece does not represent the whole collection. That's why it's important to show more pieces so you have a m better idea of what her collection is all about. No, this is an interesting piece because it's actually recycled. France was well known at the turn of the century for producing these beautiful objects from Mother of Pearl and they had north of Paris about 10,000 people working with Nacre and this particular oh, this piece... This is a pin, isn't it? This is a pin. Oh, this particular fabulous. piece is made of Art Very Deco... Fabulous. It's yes. made of Art Deco pieces which have been, you know, produced earlier and they're probably buckles. And I found them at an auction, a whole box of them. I and see. I bought them and I said, well, what am I going to do with these buckles? That was a but clever then eventually way to incorporate I said, that. Oh, great. You know, they can, they can make a beautiful statement. Rose. Absolutely. And, and so, you know, this is recycled. Also, it's recycled because this particular shell, which is the pink, is rare now and it shouldn't mm -hmm. be really exploited. But this is a shell also? It's a shell. It's a shell. It's a shell. I yeah. see. It was a, I can see now when you said yeah. it was mm -hmm. a buckle, otherwise I, you know, I wouldn't think about it. You can it. see it's But a you buckle. know, you can tell yeah. that it was yeah. buckle, but it was yeah. cleverly done yeah. that, you know, incorporated in something really very useful, interesting and, uh, you know, modern to, to put, you know, just any, on the, anything and it looks just absolutely fabulous. It, it's absolutely fantastic what you are doing. So you are continue to do, or you are going back to architecture, to well, design buildings or design jewelry. I'm so actually you working. <laughs> I'm actually working as a consultant on on Moroccan embassy, new Moroccan embassy. But it's moving very slowly, so I have a lot of time to do uh -huh. jewelry. Oh, great. In addition, I did some, as I told you before, construction on, on my building, and it was so frustrating. Whenever I was really stressed. I would just go and make another brooch or another belt. So <laughs> it works very well. It's a good, put good your energy yeah. in the good use. <laughs> like, for example, the piece she oh, has she's something is a really. Uh, so this is therapy? Dramatic. Your therapy this piece? This is therapy. This is pure <laughs> therapy. <laughs> I think you put your energy in very, you know, something interesting and profitable too. And this is also Mother of Pearl? This is Mother of Pearl, but it is um, a ballone. Maybe uh -huh. you can you can give us this. Uh -huh. It is abalone. From and where it does it come from? Paua. Paua is from uh, New Zealand. We have another lady uh, here interested, very interested. Uh, interesting that she's going to tell us what's uh, what's going on with teens this summer. I think she's going to keep them very busy. What what y you have and what are you doing? Tell all, all viewers. I'm sure they would like to know about your wonderful idea. She always had wonderful idea before the show me talk, and she was full of uh, wonderful ideas. <laughs> and she is going to tell us now what she is doing um, now to keep occupied beautiful young teens in our area. Well, uh, Olga, I, as you very well know, I've been in the fashion business For forever. For a long time. <laughs> and the reason that I've decided to work with teenagers is because it's now my opportunity to give back to the community. And I started the, a whole fashion program with the Arlington County Schools called the Style Council and was in all three high schools. Uh -huh. And it worked out fantastically. It was a great experience. I loved, I'm mad for the kids. Had a, had a really wonderful time with them. And so we've decided to start something for a summer venture called Fashion Camp USA, uh -huh. where fashion, fitness, mm -hmm. and fun begin. Mm -hmm. And it's a whole venture that is. And this is from the mm -hmm. kids. They are from 12 to 12 16. 16. 
and okay. we're stressing not just fashion we're doing modeling for runway and for photo because that's been my whole experience is working in those areas uh -huh. but we're going to work on nutrition on hair on makeup fitness all together they've got a little swimming they've got a little hip-hop they've got a little bit of everything i'll be working with them on their personal style and having a lot of fun at the same time. And I'm sure they get lots of confidence, you know, being in this, on such a course, uh, because this is very important for teens to have something, uh, you know, I'm sure that, you know, they come out very different when they finish your course. Uh, more educated, more, you know, learn a little etiquette, and learn. Carol Randolph. Uh, from Fashion Group is teaching oh, the etiquette, etiquette aspects of oh, it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's working with them on that. Mark Drivelbus of Hot Shots Photography is doing their photos. Uh -huh. Anita Barami, who's a makeup expert, is doing teaching the makeup. Serenity Day Spa uh -huh. is doing their haircuts. We're not going to do anything really radical, but, you know, good trims. And if somebody's hair is, you know, a bad purple, we'll fix it, you know, and get them in a different direction. <laughs> but, um, uh -huh. You know, as I like to think, that the hardest runway on the, on earth is the cafeteria at lunch for kids. I can imagine. <laughs> it's it's a rough it's a rough crowd, yeah. you know. And to be able to walk through that, feel comfortable and feel uh -huh, good, uh -huh. is you know that's my okay. that's my goal. If some of the girls turn out to be model material, we'll put them in that direction. Sure. If not, you know, they're going to be gorgeous what, what architects. What is the phone number? <laughs> the phone number. Can you tell us the phone number? It's at Worldgate Sport and Health will be July 12th through the 16th and it's Fashion Camp USA for girls 12 through 16 and don't forget they're going to come out beautiful but they're going to have fun. I'm sure <laughs> they're going to be fun and you're going to have fun you know teaching them all these Absolutely. all these things that you uh, are very knowledgeable of all these years in the fashion business of course you know she is the best and uh, she's going to have fun and also the ch children are going to come out different I'm sure the parents will be very <laughs> happy with it I'm sure <laughs> you know this you know that was really interesting what you are doing and uh, this is not the first time that you started isn't it well I've just really really been interested in working with this age group because it's a it's a transitional place and I really really and like them and I know them. I, I remember fun. you the talk we were talking before and you were planning to do but you were probably busy with other stuff and you didn't really pursue what you know this idea to put together because it takes a while you know to put all this Absolutely. idea Absolutely. together and to start working but finally now you got all together so our viewers can call you and, and send Sport their and Health is a, is a really great company to be partnered mm -hmm. with too. Oh, absolutely. I can imagine. You know, wonderful. So the parents, you know, can send the kids there and not to worry about it and they will be returning home all revitalized and <laughs> with a new look and new attitude and new manners which, you know, everybody needs these days, you know, especially young people today, I'm sure. So what do you... Um, so let me just ask you one more question before we uh, wrap up the show. What do you think about the fashion in Washington uh, in general? Because we live here for a long time and know actually what was going on. And uh, uh, do you think it's a more fashionable or less fashion or fashionable, you know, uh, comparing with, all, with the you know, years before? What in do you in think? actuality, I think it's different by the time of the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More women try and blend in during the day and then they pull out the stops more for evening clothes so th i see more fashion in the evening, evening. and much less during the, the day in the day I, I think so too because everybody looks the same you know they wear you know just the casual clothes during the day and it looks like they're like a mid like a dresses and just you know kind of mi in the middle clothes we cannot use it anymore it looks like you know you just wear like a jeans or a t-shirt and things like that during the day in the evening go all the way you know with the makeup and beautiful gowns and jewelry and, and all of that mm -hmm. is that what you think so absolutely so that's why they're not selling so many like a, you know like a in, the mi in the middle clothes anymore well there's a whole the whole lunch crowd the mm -hmm. that in the and the charity kind of crowd that still yeah, does dress it and really does look beautiful. I think the international, the international, both of you, both of you are. Thanks. I think international people that have come to Washington add the uh, flavor. Uh -huh. And when you go to an embassy or you see this, uh, the, uh -huh. the the sort of integral parts of of the community, that's where I think it really yeah. becomes more fashionable. I think so. Well, 
like so let's hope you know that uh, you know all these beautiful magazine people are buying and buying also in the store and sometimes you think where do they wear where these things you know <laughs> because you don't <laughs> see them on the street you don't you know you, you just see you know very you know flip-flops and you know the people just travel just so casually you know sometimes you wonder where they're going you know they're going to the <laughs> beach straight from the airplane <laughs> Well, a lot of people do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. That's true. It used to be that to be, you know, you really have to prepare for the trip, you know, to pay respect to the, you know, company that, you know, that is serving you, like the airline. You know, you used to wear, you know, all the gear, you know, going on the airplane. It was a big deal. But now I think uh, people grab the bag and just, you know, go straight to the beach. I think, after, you know, from the airport, I guess. I don't know. Well, with so many th things that are checking you as you're yes. going in and out, you can't wear anything that's going to Especially gonna, you have to remove your shoes. Or yeah, take your the shoes more off, your boots, probably your everything. Probably flip-flops are the easiest the way to, there you go. <laughs> to take yeah. it off. That's true. You know, it, 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 it's so funny. But um, anyway, that was really delightful to have you here. I'm really happy that, you know, the, our viewers can see there are so many talent in Washington, and everybody thinks you have to go to New York or LA to find the talent, but here, are the talent is right here. You have in our backyard. Thank you, ladies, for coming and sharing your expertise with us. And uh, uh, till next time, this is Olga Yavtis reporting for the Fashion Notes. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.